Let's go get a son of a bitch. What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! No more talking! Oh, could we not have nicked his uh, adder? Come on, man. Let's cast yeah, off. Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliff off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. This is the final bit, then. This is. Flipping side at Cliff then. Boo, guy. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those crazy killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious IT issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who were useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me, I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out. That's what I do. This is a serious offer. What for me, you everything you'll ever want to ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, Club. Yes, Club on Windows guys doing work next door. I don't know if you can hear him. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick. Give me money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're Said I've got some pretty interested DLC. Potential stuff now with this story. Ooh, really crashed then. We might speed him up. Not really. Hey, ready up. This is why the people I put in my truck are usually dead. Go. Right, yeah, we're really there now. See the ended on the map. Right oh shit! 
Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. I want to wait on now. Time to go today. Time to go to night again. Hey, we good tea? Never better, amigo. Franklin, I'll be here. Assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so! Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked safe. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> you know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No. See, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, no, no. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Alright, sat so down. So, so, watching Pea Soup and goodbye.